Yeah, I mean, uh, we got one shot away with the lights, I guess, but you know, we'll, uh, we'll keep playing it. Um, certainly, uh, yeah, if Kusi gets through, then maybe Kimber will as well. So, you know, we've got, we've got one each, so um, we're both in the same boat as far as that goes. So, yeah, tough, tough call. But, uh, yeah, obviously with Robbo, there's always a few mind games as well. So I'll, I look forward to that little banter. It's pretty good. Actually, uh, it's been a, a good spot for us to, uh, to have won through in a lot of regards. It was uh, the sixth game straight. We always knew that block of games would be tough. Um, and it just gave us a chance to regroup and uh, revitalise some energy. The energy was always there, but there was a lot of soreness as well after six straight. So um, it was great. Training on Tuesday was uh, yeah, very energetic and uh, we're looking forward to a short one tonight. And, and you know, everything, the work's been done, so just sit back and enjoy it. Yeah, it's been good. Have you got to, I guess, this week kind of keep things in check a bit? Is there any pressure because of the way the guys have done going through this year? No, not at all. I think um, BJ has been a great leader of the group right from the very beginning of the year, and uh, they've set themselves a high standard. We, as coaches, didn't have to do that. They've, they've really driven it from within. Um, everyone's... Uh, put in an enormous amount of effort and the, the standard and the energy has always been there. But they've set a high standard, so in, uh, in, in some of the games that we won by a margin, um, it's been about satisfaction and, and they finished those games and they weren't satisfied. They, they weren't happy with their performance, so it's not about the scoreboard, it's how they felt and, uh, and that, that's been the standard right through. So. No, everyone's in a good frame of mind and uh, and enjoying the enjoying the the energy of the week, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, I know um, you guys haven't spoken about it, but does that undefeated mate come with any extra pressure? No, no, not at all. Everyone's kind of said that uh, at the beginning of the season, the season launched, no one rated us. No one, no one said that we would be a threat, and that was a good thing. Uh, we've only had three match of the days, I think, through the season, so. It's not anything, I know I keep saying that, but it's not even something that's been spoken about. I'm sure the players have probably thought about it, but it's never been uh, about going through undefeated. As I said, we said at a level very early that it was about enjoying the game, playing the game we wanted to play, uh, and setting a standard that everyone was happy with. So that's our continuum right through. At the end of it, we didn't review any games as far as technique went. It was about how satisfied were we as a team and as individuals. So suddenly we're at the end and, you know, yeah, we are undefeated, but that was never a goal. So, yeah, it's just, if it happens, it happens. Yeah. What about the advantages of West then? Because you said you guys weren't given a chance at the start, but you yeah. probably won't either. Yeah. Um, yeah. What are the advantages like? Look, um, as Robbo said, they're, they're on a momentum roll as well, and we were in that same spot in 2015. And, that energy from winning is really cumulative. It can have a huge effect. So we're aware of that danger, and uh, particularly in the opening 20 minutes, I would reckon, will we'll, we'll be a good tell sign as to where we are. But we've been under the pump a number of times. We, we only just got away at Uni North, thanks to Sammy. But um, <laughs> <laughs> we owe him a case because he missed the shot. But uh, So we've been close. but. Um, you know, we, we felt the pressure at times in games and uh, we've been able to handle that. So we'll rely on experience and the leadership group out there. As Robbo would say, our job's done once that whistle starts. So it's in their hands and, you know, I'm, I'm you know, very lucky that we've got the group of guys that we've got and, you know, I trust that they'll make the right decisions and they're good enough. Yeah. Yeah. BJ, um, a couple of years ago you got a brilliant moment in the grand final Still dining out on that one? Or? <laughs> <laughs> we are. <laughs> uh, uh, wish it wasn't that close to tell you the truth. Uh, no, look, that was a pretty special day, um, obviously for me, but I guess for our, our club and I guess the wider club. Um, sort of talking to the, uh, the people who have been around that club for such a long time and, and what that meant to them was probably more satisfying than, I guess, as an individual thing for me. Um, you know, and to send guys like Macca and, and Cashy and those boys out on a high was, was unreal. So, um, but yeah, try not, try not to sort of speak about it as much as I can, to say the truth. You've got some, uh, like you talked about, guys who are leaving last time, some guys that might be leaving this time as well. Is that a little bit extra motivation for this one too? 
yeah, look, I mean, you always want to send those guys out on a high who have been there and um, I guess they've done the work with us for, for however many seasons they've sort of been there. So uh, I don't think it's a specific motivator for us. I mean, we, like Sally sort of said, we set ourselves a few different goals at the start of the year, but it's more been about just that enjoyment factor um, and, and sort of, I guess, coming to... I said at the start of the year, the one thing that I wanted from our team was... I mean, obviously, you always want to win the Premiership. That's why we're here. But um, for, our, I guess, our players to become better people off the field. Um, and there's been a lot of stuff that's happened throughout throughout the year. Not big stuff, just things like boys pitching in and cleaning out the sheds and, and that sort of stuff pre-season. Um, making sure that we have, you know, if, if anyone needs a hand with stuff, that boys are willing to chip in and help out each other. So I guess... I think our season's been built a lot around that sort of stuff, even sweeping sheds after the game. Just little things that um, I guess you you expect or maybe you take for granted. Um, the boys are sort of chipped in this year and everyone's done their little bits. And if you come to our games on a Saturday at Phillip, you'll see people on the gate or in the on the barbecue um, in the canteen chipping in. So I guess as a first grade squad, None of us to look at it and go, we're above any of the jobs that anyone else has to do. Um, and I think that sort of kept us fairly grounded this year. In saying that then, that the award you got last night was fourth from Chip One, does that mean a lot to you? Because and that's not necessarily for results or that sort of thing. You're not um, necessarily saying your grandfather won it a couple of times as well. Yeah, um, it, that's something I, like, I'm very proud of that. Um, and to see my grandfather's name on there this morning when I sort of had, had a bit closer look at it was um, I was a little bit emotional actually. Um, he passed away a couple of years ago and uh, he's sort of a big reason of why I play rugby. So, um, you know, for me that's, that's really special. Um, I mean, everything that I've done around our club this year is for our club. Um, and the club's done a lot for me over the 13 years that I've been down here. So uh, I can't thank them enough. And, you know, if I can give back anywhere um, to the club, then I will. Saturday, Saturday video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Save it up. I think they've freshened up a little bit this year, to be honest. <laughs> it's been good being on the wing. <laughs> um, yeah, look, I think, well, I've always sort of said, while I'm enjoying it, um, I'll keep playing. Um, and I think I spoke to Sally last week, it's probably been one of the most enjoyable seasons. Um, not just obviously winning helps, um, but just the group of guys we have there. Like boys will celebrate each weekend, which is fantastic. But then come Tuesday, there's a good feel there. Everyone's laughing, they're happy, um, but they're ripping in as well. Um, no one's sort of sitting out in fitness with you know, tight back or tight hammy. Everyone's in there and pushing. And I think probably our depth um, has helped with that as well. And knowing that I think everyone sort of knows they're on notice each week. Um, so you can't sort of be seen missing trainings and, and sitting out where maybe you are sort of 50-50 could have trained or not. So, um, yeah, it's, I'd love to go around again and uh, yeah, just wait and see what happens, mm -hmm. I guess. <laughs> so just a quick one on um, the Krugel medal winners. Tommy Hughes out there, Bruce Kano. It's a pretty good back row match up there, isn't it? Yeah, it's exciting. I think it was uh, perfect perfect ending and build up for, for Saturday I think it'll be uh, it'll be a great clash it'll be uh, certainly uh, slightly different styles but yeah two quality players so it'll be good.